Yeah, I got some things. <laughs> I got some things. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. Thanks, Luke. Cut that thing, you know, they gotta cut that guy. Come on just in, sit right here, yeah, just sit just chill right there for me. What is this team now that you guys are all together before the trade deadline has passed? And you're amongst those top teams in the East that have stayed together. What does this team then have to show, given how much the East has improved since yesterday at 3 4? We just gotta continue to play basketball. You know, a lot of trades happened. We didn't. And you know, we're second in the East. Atlanta's first in the East. Neither one of those teams made deals, and so I think that's what we should concentrate on. I think we should concentrate on the on a, on a group that we have. Um, you know, at this point, we've had success at the halfway point. So just we just got to continue to play well and just concentrate on the last 29 games. JJ was saying that this team is getting closer to where it wants to be, just within the context of this season. Do you feel that way? And if not, what, what more does this team have to show? Yeah, I think our chemistry is. Uh, it's, it's locking in. I think you know we're starting to understand what guys are going to bring to the table, where they like the basketball, and just having a rhythm with each other um, on the first and the second groups. Um, and so I would agree with that statement. It's just we're at that point in the season where um, you know everybody is starting to feel comfortable with each other and starting to get ready for that postseason run. Demar was saying that this team is stronger on the road, given that you have so many games on the road to end the season. You know, what, what, what is it about this team on the road that you've seen? Uh, just the just the importance of knowing that we need games on the road. Uh, you know, in a long season, you don't want to go into the playoffs having a seed that you didn't you didn't really want because you let a few games on the road slip away because you didn't concentrate on those games. So, I think we've been a very resilient group, um, especially with the schedule that we've had, uh, just going into games knowing that we need to have them on the road. Will you start looking at the uh, standings at any time in the next couple of weeks, maybe months, and just kind of? No, probably like the last few weeks. With that's when it'll start mattering. Up until then. You know, anything can happen. You know. There was 29 games left. Are there measuring sticks left anymore? A game like this, one versus two. My honest opinion, no, not really. Um, I guess we're, what are we 50 some games in? Yeah. I, Atlanta's a good team, and I think people know that we're a good team. You know, so um, as, as an incredible run that they've had. We're still in a conversation with them, you yeah. know what I mean? So it really doesn't it really doesn't mean a lot for them or it means a lot for us as well. You know, we're coming to games just concentrating on how we can play, trying to do the best that we can do. You know, so we don't look at really the measuring sticks. You know, I, the message for us was the last time we played Atlanta, they beat us. So this is a get back game. You know, other than that, we don't look at it as anything else.